Hey there passengers, welcome aboard for another video with me, Kuwadi Afro. Uh, today is a uh, bit of a little bit of a reminder video of what's to come uh, in the next uh, few weeks as I'm going on holiday, but we'll get into that. Uh, what I'm doing today is I'm doing finally the Super Voyager. Yes, it has come to that time where I finally bought it. I know you guys have been bugging me to get it, and I got it. It was really cheap on Just Trains. It was like about five pounds, so it was it was good. So I, I decided to get it. Anyway, we're doing this scenario, which is pr pretty lengthy. It's two hours, but I cut it down. So I started halfway, from going back the other way from Reading to I think it is Ealing Broadway. It's a really nice detailed scenario. You get to test out the trains, basically testing out the Voyager on this line or whatever. Please change ends, uh, head back to Old Oak Common, remember to shut down this cab and disable the DSD by pressing the safety isolation on top of the row next to the um, three. We have found an issue with one of the engines which appears to be overheating, the bombardier guys are going to keep their eyes on it. We have some dignitaries boarding here, including Chris uh, Green of Virgin Trains will be dropping off, uh, dropping off at Ealing Broadway, remember to disable the DRA before leaving. Ooh. I might need to go back into the other cab and do something because there we go, isolation switch. There we go. A bit, uh, there was a bit of an issue with the train. I don't know if this is part of the scenario where it would override into emergency drive for some really weird reason. I do not know why. But anyway. Sorry, I'm just, I'm just, I'm, I'm setting some uh, things up, and uh, I've, yeah, I've got everything ready. It's, it's, a, it's an, it's a definitely really nice train to drive. It's, it's definitely worth it. Like I, I was gonna get it eventually, and I finally did. Also, for shouts for the video, go to Black Sky One Two One and Super Hot Fire. That's again Black Sky One Two One and Super Hot Fire. Right, their links and stuff will be down below. Please give show them some love. Uh, those are the shoutouts for this video. So let's get into the video. Uh, I need to set up the train first. It's uh, a bit of an ordeal to set up, but you know. Turn the headlights today. There we go. Uh, what should we do? What should we do? What should we do? I don't think we need that. Do we? No, we don't. I don't know. I could be we could turn the engines on. I think it's fine. No, we cannot turn the engines on, that doesn't... Oh, it does. Okay, cool. Nice. Engines on. Let's just... Uh, do that. Put up this display so we can see what's happening. I don't think I need to do any more tests. I think I've done all the tests and stuff. If nothing's really coming up or whatever, so I don't know. Yeah, I think it's alright. Speed supervision supervised or whatever. I don't know this train has been a lot to get used to. It's it has a mind of its own. It's definitely not like one of the normal kind of trains I'd, uh, I would drive in the game. So it's 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 interesting. Why isn't this coming on? Oh, there we go. DRA DRA is off. It looks good though, I really do like the look of this train. I'm driving the 5 coach which is the class 221. The class 220 is the 4 coach and it doesn't have tilt. This has tilt there. So you can see on the wheels they have like these kind of suspension things that allow it to tilt which is pretty cool. Who doesn't like a tilting train? They are pretty awesome. So, I think we're ready to, to go. Uh, yeah, I think we're ready to to see what this girl can do. I hope we get back on the on the fast line. On the way here, I was going on the slow line. Maybe we're going to probably go on the slow line again. Annoying, but you know, what can you do? So, let's go. The uh, the sounds are so good. Like if you if you come here, you can hear like the thumping. 
off the engine, which is what I hear like when I go on like voyages or whatever. Well, I haven't been on a super voyager, but I've been on the uh, class 222, which is like basically the same train, just masked differently. Has pretty much the same engines made by Bombardier, so I, I can kind of relate to what the engines are, and it's pretty good. From just trains, it's really nice. Right. We're going to go a little bit over speed, that's fine. Anyway, let's get into what I want to talk about today because this will be the video which will be released on the day before I head off abroad. Every year I go to Croatia, I go to visit my family for like the only time I have a go and visit them. So I'll be again going away for a bit. And last year when I started this kind of channel with, I think it was just mainly Cities in Motion 2 I was doing, I kind of recorded some videos and had them scheduled to upload, but this year I've definitely recorded much more to keep you guys entertained while I'm away. Bas uh, uh, the person that will be in charge of my channel until I'm back and who will be kind of like moderating the channel, uh, he's already started commenting on some of the uh, comments and he basically posts who he is when he comments under my name so you guys know that it's not me. That'll be Gamer Mike, who'll be doing, uh, who'll be in charge of all that. He'll be in charge of uh, publishing the videos that I've, I will upload. I will upload all the videos onto the uh, onto my video manager or whatever, but they'll be private. And then he'll choose which videos to be published uh, over the three weeks when I'm away, so you guys are kept entertained. I definitely have a quite a nice array of videos to publish to you guys over the three weeks that I am going to be away. Uh, it's, uh, yeah, I, I think, yeah, I've done a good, nice selection of videos. Uh, this will be, obviously, the video that will be po posted on the day before I go. So just to give you a heads up that I won't be here for three weeks. It doesn't mean that I won't be able to respond to comments and stuff while I'm on holiday. But if most of the time I don't get internet access when I'm over there. So it maybe sometimes I might be able to if I am if I have internet access I'll be straight on YouTube I'll be commenting on stuff don't worry I'll be I'll be there looking at what uh, yeah I might even publish a bit but I pr I'll probably leave all the publishings of the videos to Gamer Mike he'll do everything uh, when in terms to like publish which video he goes so so if he wants to publish like I don't know whichever game I do I've done a variety of I think Train Sim Omsi. I don't think I'm going to do any Cities in Motion. I might just put one in there and maybe one playing Metro Simulator, maybe. But we'll see. I don't really have much time to round all these videos up on uh, online before I go. Because I still haven't even packed. And But when I'm recording this video, I have literally maybe less than a day to pack. So... And I haven't even started packing, but I'm the type of person to leave packing to the last minute. That's just how I've always been. I just, I, I prefer it. I don't know why. I can never really pack too in advance. Say if I packed like a week before and just leave the suitcase there with stuff in it. I don't know. I don't feel good about it because I may, I do, maybe, maybe by the time I get to go, but by the time I get going, I'll, be, I'll probably forget, oh, what did I pack? Or have I packed this or whatever? I'd rather, like, last minute do it. And even though last minute can be a bit annoying because you might forget something last minute if you're rushing, but I prefer it last minute. It just allows you to think, okay, what do I really now need? But that's just me. That's just the kind of way I've I've been brought up with packing my own little kind of quirk there. I'm, I'm sure many people do last minute packing. It's just a kind of a thing. <laughs> They're kind of like, oh my god, rush, get the clothes in the uh, in the suitcase, and let's go to the airport. So it's all right. But again, so to round off, uh, I'll be gone for three weeks, three and a bit weeks. So it means that I won't be uploading like videos that respond to kind of things. So it won't be like the, all these videos that you will see during these three weeks have been already pre-recorded. So if you comment in the comments like stuff like oh could you do this for next time I won't be able to like you know do stuff it, it's it's already set in stone of what's gonna be coming out through these three weeks but definitely it, it, it don't stop commenting on on like the videos because basic uh, basic game Mike will be commenting back to you I will sometimes be commenting back when. Uh, I get internet access whenever I get internet access, if I ever get internet access. But we'll see. Uh, it's the first time like I've 
probably planned out like a, a schedule of videos of when I go when I go away. I thought this year I'd be a bit more prepared than last year because last year I kind of just did free videos and they weren't really good videos. But that was there back then when I wasn't doing a lot of content. So I think this year I've definitely got I get I get I've kept you guys entertained. I'll keep you guys entertained for the three weeks that I'm not away. The videos will be up. Uh, I think yeah, I, d I definitely think it's a good mixture of videos I've done. I still have some time to maybe record uh, some more and upload them as well. But just, just I I don't even know if I'm I'm, I'm basically dragging this a little bit too long. But just to, just again, I'm not going to be here for three weeks, so I'm not gonna. It's gonna be maybe a bit quiet, but videos will be still done. And again, Game Mike will be the person that will be, be in uh, would be in charge of moderating comments. Uh, you know responding to you guys comments he'll respond in my name and then post that he it's him instead of me and if it's me it will just be like a comment and nothing else so yeah guys i'm leaving you for three weeks you know i'm probably gonna be without a computer maybe i might take a laptop with like a game or two on it but i don't really have a strong laptop to play most of the games i play so i probably won't be doing any of that and also, when I get back, there might be uh, there there'll be a nice surprise kind of announcement that me and uh, Gamer Mike have uh, for you guys. And some of you might, uh, some of you may already know what it is. Uh, some of you stream viewers, if you can remember back some time ago, we were talking about something and doing something. So all I all I gotta say is be prepared for when I get back because we will be will be starting something uh, and I think you guys are going to be really excited about it because I think it's going to be a great thing for you guys to use yes use I'm not going to give any more clues you guys who watch my streams like past streams we've talked about it once and some of you were like, yo, that's a great idea. If you if you guys were the people that watched that and can't remember then you're just going to have to wait I think pretty much it's it's not a, such a hard thing to kind of work out what it would be. Maybe most people won't know what it is, but again, heads up for when I come back, there'll be a cool surprise kind of, you know, thing that will be announced. And I think, I definitely think you guys are going to like it. It's definitely going to be something that I'm going to, I, I will like. It will benefit the channel. And uh, yeah, so I can't wait for that uh, until I come back and, and announce that to you guys and uh, get it up running. But anyway, back into the video. The uh, the Vo Super Voyager. Re uh, again, really good train. Let's go. The passenger is very nice. You have the annoying sound of passenger animations where you have like a telephone that keeps ringing, which can be, it's, it's nice, it's realistic or whatever, but it, it's a little annoying and it's like a repetitive loop. You have some coughing, which is cool, I guess. There, there we go. The bloody coughing. Should have stayed at home, man. Why you have a flu and bring it on the train, man? It's a very detailed train. I love, I love the kind of detail on it and the, the, the nice, like, exhaust uh, pipes that come out and like blow the exhaust out. It's really nice. Re it's really yeah, the sounds are great. I love it. I definitely uh, one thing I really want is some scenarios for it. There's not a lot I can find on the workshop because obviously it's not a official DLC. It's a third party DLC. So if any of you guys who have or want to make any kind of scenarios for me, try maybe making some scenarios with the Super Voyager now because I have it. I've, uh, it comes with what the cross country livery, uh, Virgin Trains livery. It comes also with this kind of blue and grey and white one, and red and white and grey one, which I think is used for like Dutch routes and stuff like that. But go ahead if you guys want to make any kind of routes, because I, I would want some routes uh, done by you guys with this train, because there's not a lot I can find that I can do of it, it only comes with a kind of like standard uh, scenarios, which are pretty long to be honest, which is good, not so good for me making videos, I like to have scenarios that maybe are between 20 to 40-50 uh, minutes, anything over an hour is a little too long, like this scenario, it's two hours long, so I had to... Oh, train fault. 
Ooh. Yeah, this is the thing with this scenario. It gives a lot of train. But Bombardier Engineer, one of the engines has failed. Driver, we won't start it again as we don't want to aggravate any potential problems. Please continue as normal and drive to to the uh, drive to keep speed up. The last thing we want to do is block up the main line. Okay. So, we've lost one of our engines. As you know, with this train, there are five engines. Well, I don't know how. Maybe... Yeah, I'm guessing the no, yeah, five engines underneath each carriage. The kind of like combined engines that work together to drive all the wheels. It's a bit similar to the kind of like with electric motors. You have like on some electric locos, you have one carriage that has like the electric motor uh, driving the train, and then you have ones where the more modern ones have motors on each wheel, which is good for acceleration. I think the new uh, S-Stock train on the London Underground has literally motors on each wheel, so it's quite nice and smooth at accelerating, which is good. But again, this is really nice in this scenario, though, there's a lot of interactions where I think on the way here, uh, from we were coming from Old Oak Common Depot, uh, we had like a little bit of a fire alert, and we had to kind of like stop the train, check it out what it was, it was kind of a little bit of a fault. It's kind of nice, because obviously the scenarios were kind of based on like we're testing out the class 221 Super Voyager with four Virgin trains on this line, and it's pretty cool. We have some people on board now from Reading. We're driving to Eden Broadway, and then I think we're gonna get to we're gonna get uh, when we get to Eden Broadway, we're gonna then drive off into the old Oak Common Depot again, which would be pretty nice. But yeah, it's, I, I'm, I'm glad I've finally got this train. Loads of people have been bugging me to get it since, like, day one of me doing train sim videos. It's like, please get the Super Voyager, please get it. It was good. It, it was really nice that they put it so cheap, £5. I don't know if it's still, I don't know if that offer is still on, but definitely keep, uh, like, like the Just Trains Facebook page. They post, like, their deals and stuff all the time. And just, you know, go ahead, just... Uh, follow up and just check the website from time to time and see if there any of their products on sale because when I saw this for five pounds I was just like yes please and I just I couldn't believe five pounds I've got such a nice detailed train and <laughs> normally and normally this kind of train would be like 20 pounds or something like that or any kind of train in train sim is like between 12 and 20 pounds so five pounds for a train that's you know just like peanuts basically in the kind of train sim world of like DLC <laughs> they're stripped a diet of DLC <laughs> I thought I know it was amazing that kind of video I'm, I'm so glad also that kind of video of uh, the train sim 2015 kind of announcement video has gotten a lot of uh, attention and a lot of like people commenting on it which is really good I literally have read all the kind of comments that people have said about it and I've just it's been so interesting to like hear your your thoughts your ideas your your concerns about the game and it's just nice to like actually relate to people that have the kind of same views as me and some might have even different views but it's good to hear everything and it's, it was kind of a nice kind of open debate video just to, to hear your kind of feelings put my feelings out there because obviously I play a lot of train sim I have a nice large audience of people that watch me for train sim so it's just nice to kind of bring it a, a, a kind of view to you guys about what I think about what Dovetail Games is doing with uh, this game but next year again as I said with that video next year is the year where we'll see like the massive change it can either make it make train sim or break train sim that's what I think but enough of that. I can't wait to go on holiday. Well, I, I, to be honest, when I kind of think of it, it's not really a holiday. It's more of a. You would think it's it's a really nice place. It's like on the coast of the Mediterranean, or on the Adriatic, not the Mediterranean, but it's in the Mediterranean area. But it's on the coast of the Adriatic. It's sunny all the time, like almost like plus thirty all the time, plus thirty degrees Celsius, not Fahrenheit. Uh, there. It's it's just it's hot. It's lovely. It's beaches and stuff like that. And you would think, oh, that sounds so beautiful and relaxing and exotic and paradise. Well, to be honest, it's not really a holiday because you. It's more of kind of like going to see family. And when you go and see family and kind of like you know, live with them there, 
it doesn't really turn into a relaxing holiday. It turns into more of a kind of thing where, oh, family, and then you do loads of things for family, and it's just like, oh, being back here with, with your, like, family here in the UK or whatever. It's just... It, like a holiday would be literally if you're going somewhere by yourself and you go and just relax have your own schedule whatever but when I go over there it's not like that most of the time when I go on holiday to Croatia my average waking up time is probably about five six or seven while right now uh, since my college is finished I've been literally waking up at like midday once I woke up at 2 and I normally never ever wake up past midday and when I woke up at 2 I was kind of a bit ashamed of myself because normally I, d I don't like sleeping in but because I'm going to sleep so late, I'm going to sleep at like 3 and 4, my body clock has basically shifted so even though I don't like waking up that late, I have to because I'm going to sleep so late so I have to, my body clock has to compensate so it wakes me up later but when I'm in Croatia it'll be basically waking up every day early going to do something with the family and it's just I guess the weather for me is probably the holiday kind of part everything else is it's just kind of you know work and stuff like that but it's just nice to catch up with family because I only get to see them pretty much only once a year and most of my family lives there not in the UK so it's nice to just you know go and see them and have a nice time but yeah, I hope you guys will enjoy the videos that I post out uh, during the three weeks. I don't know off the top of my head how many I've done to be scheduled over the next three weeks. But as I said, they're not going to be like, I haven't scheduled them out. I've only put them up online. Uh, my friend and moderator of like my Twitch chat and my channel. Uh, gamer Mike, he'll be controlling all the kind of like uh, how, how which one gets uploaded uh, and well no which one gets like put out published first or whatever in what order he wants and uh, yeah so if you want so I don't know like we'll we'll, we'll, uh, we'll see I I don't know I'm 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 kind of skeptical to not leave the channel by itself I'm just I'm just kind of like I just I hope it just goes well I hope you guys like the videos that I put out. I hope you uh, don't get too uh, too bored that I'm away and I'm not responding too much because that's one of the what, one of the main things I am kind of dreading that I uh, will not be able to respond as much as I normally do, and that might be a little like you know lack uh, lackful, um, a little bit like you know it's because normally I would respond to loads of stuff and that. I'm kind of losing my words. I don't know. I'm just. I'm just. I'm just. I'm kind of in a way. I'm worried. I just. I like. I feel like. I'm, I feel bad leaving you guys, and that's just what I'm kind of trying to express. And I just hope that you guys have a lovely summer, and I hope that you still keep watching my videos, still keep commenting. I won't be able to comment, which is like the sad thing. That's the thing that I'm just trying to put out that I, I won't be able to comment most of the time. If I get into an access, I will, but. I just, I just hope you guys take care and uh, have a lovely summer because hopefully I will, hopefully. And again, when I get back, we have a lovely surprise or not a surprise, but we just have an announcement, me and Gamer Mike, to make to you guys. And I hope you guys will uh, in enjoy that in an announcement when we make it. Anyway, we are approaching Ealing Broadway. So we need to, like, slow the hell down because we're going so fast. Oh my god, I don't think we're going to make it. I don't think we're going to make it. Do we have a sand? No, we don't have sanders. Oh my god. What was I saying? I, think I was streaming this the other night and I was saying, oh, sanders would be a great thing on this train and they don't have it. Oh god, no. Okay, we're kind of slowing down fast, but... Ooh, this is going to be tight. I don't think we're going to make it. I don't think we're going to make it. It's, it's slowing down way too fast. Even if I put the emergency brake, it doesn't... Oh, God. No, no, no. Ooh, we've, we've, we've... Totally. 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 Oh, my God. Ignore this, guys. It's just... The train is just, you know... 
We don't have to stop there. Look at that. The officials have now left the train. Not sure if they've noticed the engine failure, but it seems happy enough. So hopefully they uh, they didn't. We'll look at we'll look back. <laughs> okay, we we shall just continue. Let's just do an override. Can I do no I can't do an override. Oh okay. Well we dropped them off apparently. <laughs> We kind of dropped them off. Maybe they just jumped out the train, you know. The doors opened and they just went oof and then they, you know. <laughs> anyway, uh, unexpectedly, <laughs> we, uh, we, I cocked up a little bit again. But, you know, that's me. I'm not perfect. Uh, the Super Voyager's brakes. On my kind of scale of 1 to 10, 1 being bad, 10 being good, 4, no, ooh, uh, 5, 6, but I give it 5 or 6. They're not that good. They're not as worse as the 450s, but they're not massively good. So I'm sorry that we didn't stop at that station, but they got off. I would have reversed back in and gladly opened the doors and let them out, but they got off, so they, I don't know what the hell happened. They probably just jumped off. But anyway, this video has been kind of like I don't know. I've been kind of I've been kind of scrambling all my words and stuff. I don't know. I'm just I've just been kind of trying to find the nicest way of just saying like what's happening over these nice uh, three weeks. It's almost like I'm just like leaving, like because my channel is my kind of like baby or whatever. It's 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 something I look after and it's just something I want to just see grow nicely. You know, you know that kind of thing, and because I, I respect everyone that subscribes and everyone that w watches my videos, and I love all you guys that watch my videos, and I just want you to be okay without me for a little while. That's what I'm just trying to say. But I'm sure Gamer Mike will look after you very well. He will respond to all your comments and stuff that you will post, and. I'll try my hardest if I get internet access to respond to anything. But yeah, it's just, I don't know, I kind of feel this video was a little bit muddled. In my mind it's muddled because I'm just, I don't know. I want to drive this not awesome train that I finally got and then there's like me wanting to like, talk to you guys, reassure you guys for the next three weeks is going to be just fine. But yeah. So. We're just now entering this uh, east reverse, and then we're, I think we're reversing back into the shed where we start, where I started, not where we start. We started at Reading. I think I'm going to start slowing down because, you know. <laughs> Old Duck Common is an interesting place. Apparently, there's supposed to be a station here for Crossrail and an interchange between the London Overground. Don't know how that's going to work. It's kind of a really shitty area. It's not really a interesting area where, oh, why would Crossrail want to stop there? Well, I guess it's only for the interchange, because remember, there are some stations that are not really important stations to, like, you know, get out or whatever, or, you know, for the area. They're just, there are some important stations which are only just for the interchange. So I'm guessing that kind of station between, the an interchange between the overground and the Crossrail services will be a, a, very, a very important thing, so... I guess, even though it'll be an old oak common, still be used because of Crossrail and Overground. There we go, nicely does it. Nicely does it. Very nice, very nice. Again, guys, I would love to wish you guys all a very nice summer. I hope whatever you do this summer, have a nice summer. Relax. Take it easy. Uh, be safe. Have fun as well. Relax. Don't do anything too stressful. Just, you know, oh, well done. 
this morning. Well done this morning, driver. We will leave the train here whilst checks are carried out. I'll take it into the depot la later. Okay, thank you. Well, we completed that rather well. And, well, <laughs> sort of rather well. <laughs> but anyway, guys. Again, I would like to all wish you a very nice summer. Uh, again, videos will be uploaded. The videos have been uploaded already. They'll be published over the course of these three weeks by Gamer Mike. He'll be the one responding to comments unless I can get internet access and respond to them myself. Uh, when I get back, we have a cool announcement for you guys, which I, I know all of you guys are going to like. I'm not going to give anyway. Any, as I said, people that have watched the stream before uh, have heard of it, what we've been talking about. If you can't remember, then tough. You're just going to have to wait. Some of you might know what I'm talking about. Maybe not. I think it was quite a while ago that people probably have forgotten. But if you know, then that's good. You know that it's going to be really cool. And I'd like to see what you guys think it is in the comments down below if you want to try and guess what it is. But overall, uh, yeah, have a great summer, guys. I love you all. Thank you for watching all my videos till now. It's been a great year. Oh, wow, to look at it from a contrast from last year when I left to go on holiday to now. It's just, uh, wow. I'm just so, I'm so blessed to have such a, a, a nice loyal fan base of people that want to watch my videos and I'm just so grateful that you guys um, have stick around on this journey with me and I hope we have more journeys on Train Sim, you know, Train Sim 2015, all, the, all these other new games and stuff that you, uh, you guys have to look forward to. I forgot to also mention that new games. Uh, that I will be like looking forward to playing uh, at the end of August and beginning of September, end of September. New games such as Euro ship, uh, European Ship Simulator, Train Fever, uh, Transocean si Shipping Company, World of Subways 4, which is in development, which it looks really cool. All those kind of games. But again, guys, I love you all. Have a great summer. Won't be here for three weeks. Game of Mike will be in charge. When I get back, we have a cool announcement. Shoutouts for this video were Black Sky uh, 121 and Super Hot Fire. I hope again you guys have a wonderful summer. I'll see you when I get back. Enjoy the videos that I've recorded for you while I'm away. And I'll see you when I get back. I've been Quay Afro and uh, uh, this train terminates here. <laughs> all change. Bye guys. Have a great summer. Love you all. We ain't never given our cause we ain't